Hi, my name is Shana Simmons, and I am the artistic director of Shana Simmons Dance. I am here at the campus of Indiana University of Pennsylvania, and we are currently setting a brand new work called Take the Air at IUP. Take the Air at IUP was a live two-hour performance event on May 1st, 2021. Five site locations around the IUP campus were filled with music and dance and performed their works on a loop throughout the two hours. Each site's piece was inspired by an IUP graduate or former student. Patrons were able to stay and watch improvisational moments or continue on to the next work as they saw fit. Take the Air came out of a brainstorming session with IUP and Shana Simmons Dance on how to continue live performance during COVID-19. Well, hi, my name is Kurt Scheib. I'm the Dean of the College of Fine Arts here at IUP. Uh, I've been here since July of 2019. Um, I'm actually an alum of IUP, um, graduated in the late 1970s. So um, this was sort of a homecoming for me in coming back to Indiana. And one of the more, more exciting things about this uh, particular opportunity that we're talking about today is that it's, it's really part of this sense of how we enlarge the idea of where people and artists meet. You know, through this whole time, particularly this year of COVID, where everyone has longed for community and we've been really inhibited from doing things in the way we're used to doing them. Well, I, I think, you know, I think one of the exciting things, you know, in terms of productions at IUP in general is this sense of collaboration that already took place. So, you know, so Holly Boda Sutton and her work with the IUP Dance Company has long collaborated with our wonderful faculty member, David Martinick, who's a composer. Um, in terms of these collaborative experiences. So, hello everyone, my name is Holly Boda Sutton and I am the Artistic Director for the IUP Dance Theater and I'm the Co-Director for the Dance Program here at IUP. I came to IUP 27 years ago. Uh, this position was very exciting because they wanted to move uh, the dance minor up into the College of Fine Arts and create a more viable artistic-based dance program. For me, dance and the arts are very inclusive, meaning that everyone should have the opportunity to be involved regardless of what age they are, when they start, um, what their background is when they start. Our program here is interdisciplinary and you have to combine your dance studies with a second area of studies. When I came 27 years ago, I was hired with the instructions to um, help create a minor program and then um, create a performance group. I started the IP Dance Theater which um, the mission is to run it as if it is a professional modern based company so the students coming in um, really get pushed out of their comfort zone. The body of our work has really focused um, and um, solidified itself in the last couple years as being dance theater. So it challenges them to also learn how to layer and develop the artistry of character through their movement. But to see the students, once they embrace that and experience that, just start to really think about how they perform differently and how they have to think about what they're communicating differently. Uh, the growth is wonderful. So that was IEP Dance Theater and we've been growing and steadily um, over the last 27 years. And then um, about 10 years in, we decided we already had all of these courses and we had all of these wonderful um, departments around the university that we really could connect with. So that's when we started to develop and brought into um, formal access the, uh, the interdisciplinary dance theater program um, so that they could come in and combine loves together um, and really develop a career path for themselves that they would be lifelong and would be viable. What's wonderful is one of our graduates of the program, Paige McLaughlin, is the rehearsal director. We brought her back and hired her to be the rehearsal director for Shana for this project, which is a wonderful resume building moment for her, but also a wonderful experience moment for her. My name is Paige McLaughlin. I'm a graduate from IUP with a degree in speech language pathology and 
dance arts. And now I'm the rehearsal director for this project with Shana Simmons. And so all that means is I run rehearsals and take notes from Shana and then I get a performance ready for the performance whenever Shana and her company come. Well, Shana works in very specifically. She has a process um, and it's interesting to watch her uh, and it's cool to learn from her and how well she is at making it very easy and accessible for all sorts of dancers. The students from the IEP Dance Theater that are involved in this production, in this program, in this opportunity are very excited. They get the opportunity to work with a professional um, at the at the professional level even though they're not professionals because Shana has expectations for them and she's able to coax them to the level where she knows is their their true level of performance um, and incorporate that very beautifully into her choreography. I began my work with the IUP Dance Company focusing on improvisational exercises that will fill the time in between the individual works. From there, I started setting the actual choreography that will premiere every 20 minutes throughout the two hours. We're now in the process of going to the site location and manipulating the spacing. Due to COVID-19, we've been rehearsing in block format, which has been a challenge to appropriately space them for what you'll see in the final performance. Um, so COVID year, like for most companies and most performance groups, has been very challenging. The challenge is, is that if you can see behind me, there's a grid and the dancers have to stay in their box for COVID issues. Uh, they can't partner, touch each other unless they actually live together in the same, you know, house, they room together, what have you. They have masks on, so we're only seeing the expression from here up not been able to go to, uh, an, you know, a, to a hall or a performance hall and encounter art in that space. It's been hard to go to a museum, it's been hard to go to a concert. So all of those things, you know, we're we've been struggling to figure out how does that happen. But one of the things I think we've discovered and we've certainly learned and maybe relearned from this experience is the vitality and the resilience of artists. This will be wonderful for the dancers because they'll actually see the audience. They'll actually be able to feel the energy off the audience. Um, because it's outside, the COVID issues aren't that daunting. Um, everyone that comes can have their masks on. They can stand six feet apart. Because it's outside, you'll have a, a variety of places you can stand and watch it from different perspectives. So you can keep your distance from other people. Um, there's a constant refreshing of the air because you're not inside of a, a building or a theater. So I think this is an opportunity to, um, I feel like we're all coming out of our little cocoons after a year <laughs> and coming to renew. Uh, this will be an opportunity to come out of your cocoon, come out into nice weather, start to immerse yourself in the arts again and just start enjoying aesthetically things that were kind of taken away from us or really um, captured in some awkward moments. Uh, as we move forward as, as people, as humans. What excites me about the arts, and again, I think what we relearned again, is if you look at how people adapted and tried to cope during this time, so much of it was through some kind of artistic expression, because it's, it's just part of what we are as humans. You know, that, that the idea of arts and expression has been with us as long as we're aware. I think as an artistic director, the most exciting part for me is knowing that we have all these different levels of, of groups as far as experience and capability and professionalism, all in one concert. But the, the theme that's threading it through is how they interpret Shana Simmons' choreography. Take the air to me is a celebration of engagement between live performer and audience. It's celebrating outdoor spaces as well as history within site-specific performance. When I think of Take the Air, I think of what I spoke about a bit ago about where we encounter the arts together. And it is in this space that we create between us, that exists between us in the community. So the air, is everywhere as the arts are everywhere. My feeling, just the highest idea of what the arts are, 
that, that it is this collective voice that we come together. We've made it this far and we can see some light and some air uh, on the other side of this. So I hope everybody will come and experience it. it it's going to be terrific. Take to the air or take the air means that you can come out, you can out, come out of your house, you can breathe again, you can engage in things that you enjoy. Um, for our dancers specifically in the IEP Dance Theater, um, because so many of them are either graduating or going on new paths in many ways, I think for them, take, take the air or take to the air means that they're, they're taking this experience along with their other experiences with them and starting to develop their own new pathway as they go into their career, as they go into their future. And what a wonderful way to start it than this.